Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoner's War review and we are on the Black Hearts account. This account name seems pretty reminiscent, however the account itself is new. So I asked the account owner and he told me that he recently got hacked. So this is a new account and he's building it from scratch. And it kind of makes sense right because you see a starter pack on the side which he didn't buy. I'm pretty sure he's playing F2P for now and I think that's great, good for you. Because if you start spending once, you're not going back. And this is coming from personal experience. I started spending and I now constantly spend per month. But I do appreciate, I do respect people playing as an F2P. Because definitely the game is much more competitive as you climb. It's really hard to find people that reached a certain level being truly F2P. I'm not saying there isn't people that reached a high goal as an F2P player. But I am pretty sure most of the players that are in high ranks are not F2P. They, they take advantage of all the packs that they could get. This account owner is interested in getting some advice with a fast dungeon team and also to a hard. We're going to see his runes, but mostly we're going to look at his units because right now, especially for dungeon teams, units is the biggest factor. Hey guys, before we start the video, if you guys are interested in getting advice and help from me and other Summoner's War players, feel free to join my Discord where the link is in the descriptions below. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me, become a Patreon where the link for it is also in the descriptions. I want to say I appreciate all the support and believe me, I really do. Anyways, that was it. Let's get back to the video. So looking at his profile, he's currently F1, which doesn't really matter. He reached F2, obviously being a 56 day account, there's no RTA record. So we're going to only look at the Toa stuff and it looks like normal is done and Toa hard. He's having trouble after floor 52. He does have a dot team for GB12. That's great. 50 seconds for a 56 day old account is pretty damn nice. However, GB12 is almost five minutes and he can't even do MB nine he does have a steel fortress team so that's also great obviously the dot team works there so good for you but the punisher crypt is also a f a dungeon that he needs to get done so it's pretty clear on what he needs to work on i think he definitely needs to work on a db12 team which is the trick group team the trick group team will fix all the dungeons that he's having tr trouble with trick group will, will get the necro done and we'll get the Punisher Crypt done and obviously we'll get the DB12 done. And there are a lot, a lot of new ways to get a Trick Root team working, even without the defense requirement, since you could add a fifth member like the Fire Gargoyle or even a Freya with three more determination sets. And even if they die, it still retains the three determination sets in the run, which allows you to get that defense requirement. I mean, it's doesn't matter what you really have right now. The only thing that matters is to see if you have the trick rule, which you do. You have three trick rules. Currently, only one is a six star and is not awakened. So you do want to work on that and you do want to work on six starring these units. The other thing I want to check is if you have a unit that you could put on three determination sets like the cheating way, right? And I believe the one that people used a lot in the videos is either the Freya, which I don't really see, or the Fire Gargoyle. So let's take a look at your other storage because it could be there. So Fire Gargoyle. Is the Fire Gargoyle? No, Fire Gargoyle is a four star. Sadly, I don't see it, but I do see the Sylphid. I'm not exactly sure if the Freo works, but I know that the Fire Gargoyle works. So if you're having trouble on making a working trick rule with, with your runes, then please work on pulling a Fire Gargoyle. And maybe in the rotations, he will be a pull soon. Sadly, he's not. So if you want to pull him, look out for these exclusive summons. Or maybe you're just lucky enough to pull him with a mystical scroll. Okay, let's take a look at the runes. I mean, there isn't much to say, right? How much are you expecting from a 56-day old account? 21 swift. That's awesome. 17. This one is... Pretty mediocre as you get into late game or mid late game this is a common rune 
But this one is definitely a good rune. This one's a good rune too. 16 on slot 4, so maybe you want to get a faster one there later. And then 15 for slot 5, and then 16. So other than slot 1 and 3, nothing notable. But that is expected. Violent, 15. So because we do know that he's having trouble with DB12, being at a 5 minute run, we know that there isn't going to be any good Violet runes right here. That's right. The will runes, same. You can see that he doesn't have much will runes at all. And it looks like the ones that are on his barrel are the best that he has. I think it's a good thing to check his guard runes and look at defense. So you do want to get as much of these in the guard set since they do offer the 15% set effect if you get more of them. And this defense percent is the same for all sets, right? As a 6 star rune, the max defense percent you could get on the two four sixes is 63%. So I think it's really important to have your defense percentage as guard runes, especially if you're having trouble with getting the defense. Since you could get other defense percent runes from your 135s that are not guard runes, but still retain the set effect if you do have a couple of uh, guard runes in your 246s. And plus one, right? Because you want at least, you need at least four for a double set. And be happy with any of these kind of drops, plus the slot four defense percent drops, because it doesn't matter what stats they have, what substats, you're gonna be using them for your trickery. Take a look at your defense percentage in general. So we don't have to look at these, just one, three, five, 25, like this one's good. You could grind this, and then this could be used for a trickery. Um, same for this one, not that bad. 20% okay, so these 20% are not that bad. This one's a good one, it's a guard set and it has 17%. So you do want to run at least R3 if you can because these grinds that you're missing will be a huge help. So run just R3, those green blue grinds add up, they add up. The blue grind 6% on three slots, on three slots is 18%, and those will definitely add up. One other advice that I want to say is your arena towers. The only thing right now I would focus on is probably the defense towers. Again, just for the trick room. It just makes everything so much easier. And obviously the guard students, the guard stones, obviously the defense tower is probably the most important tower for you to get your trick room done. I know it's really important that you have a working team for your Inugami dungeon. I'll just look at the strategy info, and it looks like Fran, Loren, Verd are the ones to go with. But if you can't go with these, and it's not working, yeah, running the slot 4 is fine. Since these are very limited, you want to be using all of them for your trick routine in the beginning. You could use a couple if you can do your Dimensional Predator, but other than that, everything, every single energy will go into your trick route until they are done. Uh, it doesn't matter if you could do three, four, or five. Obviously, five is the most efficient, but it's better than wasting time and waiting. I'd rather keep running that dungeon level three or four to get your trick route done. And you do have the friend, you do have the spectra, some of these, the, the verd. See, like if your verd looks like this, right now, I don't know how much of a help it would be since it's so squishy. Yes, it's doing a good amount of damage in your level, but because it's so squishy, I'm pretty sure in the dungeon they'll just die too quickly. I'd rather make it much show oh, it's in a raid set. Yeah, it's, it looks like you're trying to make a a trick root revert, but right now it's just too squishy. And I don't know why you're not giving it artifacts, because these artifacts are a big, big plus in early game. It doesn't matter what substats you get, what substats you get from those artifacts, the main stat, the extra main stat you're getting is huge. Just getting 200 more flat attack here is huge. Obviously right now it's too fast, so it's not really a good trick over it anyway, since the speed requirement and everything is kind of off. So if you kill the speed, give it more damage, give it more HP, it will be a working uh, trick over it. But right now, if you want to use it in the dungeon, I would make it a, a violent furred because you'll be able to gain more attack bar, take more turns. That's all I really have to say. Right now in your arena, you're putting up this kind of defense, which is fine, it's almost free, but I would have to say the best thing to do is just probably put up a fake one, 
one unit defense and just farm everybody that's coming in to to expedite the process to get your defense tower done that's the first thing to do and then after that maybe it's probably like the attack towers like the fallen ancient keeper the ancient sword and the fire sanctuary since this will all help your verd damage plus your bail damage which will get done later for your r5 i think getting your trick room is the first thing to do and if you can't get your trick room done right away obviously you'll take the steps on getting ready to get your trick room team working and when i say that is to get your guard tower done your uh, damage towers done and then you know obviously make make the make the appropriate changes to get your dimensional dungeons going to awaken the ikarus and then also creating an r3 team to get those blue grinds like i said those add up at this point any grinds will help you especially like the blade grinds the rage grinds the fatal grinds anything will essentially help your runes so i would start with that but that was it guys hope you guys enjoyed it and this was a low level account so there wasn't much to say but i think if i started a new account that is what i'll do hope this helped and i'll see you guys next time bye